Hey everyone, another car video. Wow, I've just seen how tired I look. That's nice, isn't it? That's nice. Well, I'm a bit tired, a bit weary. Um, I've just finished a, uh, a client session. I'm driving home and um, uh, the client, um, I, I've worked with the clients before and um, and she has seen my videos and she jokingly said, uh, oh, you should use this for, for your next video. I think. And I kind of went, eh, I don't know. and then I thought of you guys, and um, you know what what came out of this session today um, was a really, really I think important uh, important tip to share with all of you. So I actually worked with a couple today. I have worked with both of them individually, and today, through circumstance. Um, I worked with both of them. Now I'm not going to go into details about why I was working with both of them. They have had um, a tumultuous time over the last uh, ooh, six, six, eight months or so. And um, today's session was about it was about honesty, and at the end, really, what we had to come down to in the session to to um, to allow a lot of that to come through was communication and that's the part that I want to share with you guys energetically physically emotionally what was happening between these two people who who really have genuine love and affection for each other what was happening was the way they were communicating about events that had happened in the last six months there was no message getting through either way, like either way. Um, the way they were approaching communication was was all about attack. And, and, and that attack came from anger and the anger came from hurt and betrayal. Um, and, you know, I get it. I get it, you know, when you, when whatever the situation might be and you've been hurt the knee-jerk reaction protect myself i need to protect myself at all costs and i will attack you know what the unfortunate thing that happens uh, when that happens is that the other person doesn't even hear it they they this couple admitted it themselves that um when they heard a particular tone coming out of their partner's, uh, coming out through in their partner's voice, they shut down. They shut down. Didn't even hear it. White noise is what it was referred to. So I find that, I found that really interesting. And um, what we got to with them is, you know, when, and I've discussed this in one of the other videos, knee jerk reactions. We're all guilty of that. We're all subjected to that knee-jerk reaction where, of whatever it might be. And that could be responding to something from our past or it could be, you know, um, an open wound that, you, you know, you're trying to protect. And no one's going to fucking hurt me again. This kind of thing. Um, why am I sharing this with you? Because... As you travel down your authentic path, as you start to make changes in your life, people are going to question you. Mm. People are going to possibly ridicule you. Never in this group. Never in this group. So how do you react to that? How do you react to that? How do you react to... Um, being attacked simply for trying to improve your life and simply for trying to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Um, look, I'm tapping on the dashboard. It's all very important information. Listen, listen, listen. So here's my tip for you guys. Just as you go on the defensive when you're being attacked, if you then... Try and defend yourself by attacking back, you're not going to be heard. You're not. Because that then just puts the other person on the back foot. So they're going to respond by attacking. And then you're going to go, no, but I need to defend myself. 
don't defend yourself when it comes to being yourself. If someone is attacking you, then your behavior, here's the something for nothing. If someone is attacking you or you're perceiving the, what someone says as an attack, then there's two things that happen. You've got to look inside yourself and say, why am I reacting like I've been attacked? Why? I'm not going to give you your answers. You, this, is, this is your gear, guys. And if your behavior, your path of, you know, becoming your authentic self is triggering in something in someone else and they come and attack you, you need to understand that they are reacting to their sensitivities. They are reacting and defending possibly the life they've always lived, the belief systems that they hold. So what do you do with that? I'm telling you right now what you do. You step away. You step away. I'm not saying you run away. No, 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 no. You step back from the situation. If you have to do this physically for the first couple of times it happens, because it will happen, and step back, literally take a step back, plant your feet firmly on the ground, put your shoulders back, and say to yourself internally, I know I'm doing the right thing for me. And watch how your body responds. Just watch the power and the strength come back into you. And then you respond to the person in, in a variety of ways. Look, you can just go, you know what, I'm sorry you're reacting that way. I'm comfortable with what I'm doing. You're not attacking them. And you're standing your ground. A cheeky way of doing it? It's a bit cheeky. I'm really sorry it's, you know, my behavior is affecting you that way. So, you know, I'm comfortable with the way I'm living. Um, but if it makes you uncomfortable, maybe you need to look at that. That's very cheeky. It's a little bit confrontational. Guys, I don't want any of the people in this group to be attacked for trying to change their lives and make their lives the happiest um, they can make it you know so think about this for a while if someone along whatever path you're traveling is coming in on the attack it's about them it's not about you so stand your ground square your shoulders and believe in yourself enough to know that you know you you are doing the right thing for you. You've made that decision. You're doing the right thing for you. Guys, there's so much more to say, and, and I'll probably touch on this again another time, but I believe in you. Every, seriously, every single one of you. I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. I believe in every single person in this group, and I believe that every single one of you is on the path to realizing that they want to be something or they want something different for the life they've lived up until this point. And I'm with you. I'm with you on that path. Thanks for listening, guys. Oh, bye. I think I'm going home for a nap now. Bye.